And it's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa To The last conversation we'd like to say is the last lap. Uh, if you look at it, because we're talking sports, uh, Mudashiro joins us this morning. We'll have a live guest. Thank you so much for being part of the show. Thank you very so, much. So let's get to it. This has been a serious debate on different fora. Uh, you have a lot of people who think that how can the federal government say they will need 21 billion naira to fix the national stadium? And we know the National Stadium for a lot of people is where beautiful memories have been created. We've had several games there. We have champion courses, you know, at that stadium. So do you think that it's so much or is less? What exactly are your thoughts as regards this? Yeah, it's, um, it's interesting to know that there's an update on that statement. And um, two days ago, the um, director of sport ministry related to the public relations that um, uh, MAGA said that um, the minister did not say that um, they needed 21 billion naira, or neither have they collected 21 billion naira on, um, on from any individual or government. That um, the sport minister, Sonny Dave, only mentioned um, some of things he probably would need is like a proposal, but um, he did not categorize say that um, he collected one billion or the federal government should give the sport ministry one billion. So that's an update on that. Whether that's true or not, but we all know that um, this month, um, Sunday Dive, the sport minister, came to Lagos to address some certain issues regards to the stadia in the country. So I think, um, but it's, all, it's very unfortunate that um, we are, uh, the National Stadium um, in Lagos just built in the 70s and have hosted many events that um, they've not been what it should be. What we are having is um, it's now a den that become houses to many animals and all that. But the latest update before now was the fact that there was this, um, a contract um, agreement between the sport minister that some certain things that need to be changed. Part of it is the scoreboard, which was given to a certain billionaire, you understand, to repair. Just the same way there was an um, agreement signed with the Abuja Stadium, where before it was changed, um, after it was changed to the MKO Abiola National Stadium. And those um, agreements is on the pitch and also on the scoreboard and some certain facilities there. So that's why we can see. But let's be fair to Sunday Diary. Before Sunday Diary became sport minister, there was nothing to write home about about um, the national stadium in Abuja. But under his tenure, we've seen certain change. And, you know, that's why we can see that the last game um, between the Super Eagles and, um, um, uh, and um, Ghanaian side that we lost for the World Cup, where there was quite encroachment, was because of the facilities and everything was in place. But this national stadium, every administration has come in and out and there have not been anything to do about it. And we only hope that if Sunday Diary also wants to do more, put his name, in times, in sound of times, and you know, put his name where people are always reckon him with. He should do something more drastic about the national stadium, which is um, one of the most popular stadium in Africa. So I think for now, he has come out. So, so but if, if you look at that national stadium, you are a sportsman. Uh, would you describe that stadium as meeting, you know, best practice? Yeah, no, there's, right now the stadium is not underused. A few months ago, the minister set up um, a committee. Uh, every so, so I'm not saying whether the stadium is underused or not okay. underused. I'm saying if you look at that stadium, at the state that it is, can you say that that stadium meets you know, international best practice? Can we compare that you know, to stadiums where games are played across you know, the world, uh, including Africa? No, we, we can't. We can't. And that's why we can't compare that. But that's what I'm saying now. Right now, there's no basis of comparison because, <laughs> the, because the stadium is going through renovation. The tenants, both Lega and illegal tenants, have been driven away from the stadium for them to rehabilitate. But it's almost it, two, almost two years after. There's nothing to write home about at that stadium. So there's no basis of comparison because the sport ministry wants something new. But it's been a long while and nothing has been done and that's why issues are on it and on why there should be 20 billionaires or not there's nothing going on on the, in the stadium is nothing to write to me about we cannot compare with any stadium in um, that's why most games are always 
played in Uyo. Uyo, where we have um, the, the next. Nest of champion. Um, I'm sure you're smiling about that because <laughs> that, that's uh, very close to um, where you step. But beyond that, um, every other stadium in Nigeria should live up to expectation. Also, we have the Lake of Salamin Stadium, which um, was renovated by the Ojo State um, government. So there's some other stadium in the country. The only con stadium also in Lagos is in um, in a perfect um, state. So beyond National Stadium, other stadium, but National Stadium is our pride. It's where we made the So, champion. is it really our pride? Yeah, I think it's our pride. That's um, it's our pride. It used, or to, used be, to be our pride. It used to be our pride. So but a lot of memories there. So, some still hold it in our esteem because we have many. But I mean, if, if you've had memories, we have to go now because uh, there's need for us to join the newsroom. I'm sure that this conversation won't end. Uh, if we say something is our pride, how, how come we, we got to a point where uh, it's not something that you can recognize? I mean, if you had a child who had witnessed games and we have, you know, recorded some sort of success uh, during our games in that particular, you know, stadium, and then again, uh, we can't actually recognize it. It doesn't make any sense looking at the national stadium, our assets, even the stadiums uh, that we have in our different states. Uh, but that's the size of it, Mudashiru. Thank you so much thank for making our much. time to be thank on the show. Thank you very much. And uh, we, it has been an exciting Friday morning. We appreciate the fact that you have been on the other side. We'll definitely not stop talking about these issues until uh, the desired result has gotten. And that's why we do exist as uh, an organization. We'll join the newsroom at 9 o'clock for the news brief. In the meantime, if you missed out on any part of the conversation from 7 o'clock, it's fine to follow us on our social media platform on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's at Plus TV Africa, Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. My name is Messi Popo. Have a great Friday.